Here are the results. Table 2, regression results. Adjusted standard errors are in parentheses, as usual. Our dependent variable is log house prices. So that's what we're trying to explain. We want to know, does, is there a causal effect of school quality, school test scores, on house prices? So our treatment variable is listed right here in the very first row, elementary school test score. So these are all different estimates of the treatment effect of elementary school test score on house prices. Now remember, our units of analysis here are different houses. So each house has some other variables associated with it, like the number of bedrooms, the number of bathrooms, the number of bathroom squares, the lot size, internal square footage, age of building, age squared. So we're going to use, include all these other variables in our regression analysis. And that means that what we're going to do is just basically look at houses that have the same values of all of these variables, except one of them has a higher test, elementary school test score, and, the, and some of the other ones don't. So we're using this just to control what kind of houses we're looking at. OK, so this first column here says all houses. So this is a regression that doesn't use any of this regression discontinuity idea. It just takes all the houses in the data set and does a regression of house price on all of these variables. And we find that there is a large positive correlation between elementary school test score and house prices. Overall, places, houses in districts with high elementary schools that have large test scores also have high prices. But this is not a causal effect. Just because, as we talked about with regression in general, we're not able to separate out the effect of confounders here. There could be some unobserved variables like other public amenities that are also correlated with elementary school test score and affect house prices. Things like maybe good schools are also close to golf courses or parks or movie theaters or things that people also want to live close to. And so what this is picking up is actually the causal effect of those confounders on house prices, not the effect of elementary school test scores. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to use the regression discontinuity idea. And instead of looking at all 22,000 or so houses, we're going to look at just houses that are close to the school boundaries. Okay, So we're going to either look at 0.35 miles from the boundary, 0.2, or 0.15 miles. Now if we look at just houses close to the boundary, we see that this overall regression that includes all the houses, the effect drops almost in half from 0.035 down to 0.016. If we, and that's if we have about 10,000. If we go closer to the boundary, our sample size gets smaller, and even smaller if we go even closer, okay? But we see that the effect size is basically the same regardless of how far you are from the boundary as long as you're close in some sense, 0.016, 0.013, and 0.015. So what are these regressions here doing? Well, they're basically saying, let's look at only houses that are close to a boundary. Okay. Now, because we've got all these controls, let's also just look at houses that all have the same number of bedrooms, bathrooms, etc. And so all we're doing is comparing four houses that look very similar along these dimensions and are close to the boundary. What's the difference in the average house price between the ones that are in the good school district, meaning have a high elementary school test score, and the ones that are in a bad school district, meaning have a low elementary school test score? And that's what these numbers here are picking up. And because we're close to the boundary, and we believe that these houses are not only similar in the variables we're controlling for, but they're also similar in the unobserved confounders, we believe that these are actual causal effects of elementary school test score on house prices. So that's the main finding in this paper. These numbers right here that implement the regression discontinuity idea by just doing a, an actual regression on outcomes on house prices with some control variables, but only looking at the particular units that are close to the boundary. Okay? And by the way, if you construct confidence intervals using these standard errors, you'll find that these effects are statistically significant.